Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about V stacks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So V stacks are your vertical stacks. Uh, basically, they are vertical container views that are used to lay out views in a vertical manner. Okay, now what do I mean by that? So let's go ahead and take a look at a simple example. So you have a view and uh, we can create a V stack by simply typing V stack and it actually creates a V stack with uh, and gives us few options basically with the autocomplete. Uh, you have the alignment and spacing and uh, content three parameters that V stack takes. But by default, um, if you don't want to provide any of those, you can simply create a V stack by just typing V stack and opening and closing curly bases. Now, anything that you put inside the V stack basically is going to be a child element which is going to be laid out in vertical direction. And V stack does not have any of its own ui representation so as you can see we have a v stack created here and we don't see anything on the ui now if i place anything else inside this you're gonna notice that that view would appear so the view itself the sub view itself has the visual aspect uh, to um, uh, to represent but v stack does not have any any anything visual to uh, show Okay, now this uh, comes handy because uh, anytime you want to modify your uh, child views, then you can actually provide some common modifiers and those modifiers are applied to all the child views unless you decide to override them. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to set the font for this guy to be a title type okay and that is going to increase the size of the text on the screen okay now i'm gonna add another text view and this time around we're gonna type ios development okay so if you notice that first of all our views are laid out in a vertical manner that means uh, devtv.com appeared uh, at the top and right underneath the, you have iOS development. Also notice that both of them have the title font. Both of them have same font. Now as long as we are not overriding these fonts, they are going to be applied directly onto all the child subviews. Okay, and we can actually basically override the um, text views uh, like you know to look something different by setting a font for example for the this ios development text view and let's go ahead and set it as um, body okay and uh, as you can see now that because we are overriding the font value inside the uh, inside the container uh, basically the overridden value is going to take the precedence but if it's not overridden then by default is applied to all the subviews now there's one more uh, there's one modification that came um, or one update that came in iOS 17 is that now V stack or any container view basically can support more than 10 elements so statically uh, you can create more than 10 elements inside the V stack and it's not going to throw any compile error now let's go ahead and take a look at this with an example i'm going to create a text with uh, 10 digits and we already have two elements so essentially what we have is we're going to have in total 12 elements and if you run this code inside the older version which is ios um iOS 16 or before and Xcode 14 and before you can actually see a compile time error but that compile time error is no longer there starting iOS uh, 17 and Xcode 15. So I'm gonna have basically 12 of these uh, let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so I have 12 elements uh, just for digits and then we have two more which are Taptic and iOS development and in total you have 14 elements but they are just 
being displayed just like any regular view. Uh, so there's no longer a limitation of having 10 uh, views or 10 uh, child views uh, inside a vStack or a container view. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, next thing that we can do, uh, something additional that we can do with vStack is we can nest vStacks inside vStacks or any other container view. For example, we can take a vStack and uh, create another vStack and basically nest those um, uh, sub views inside another vStack. Now the benefit of this is, uh, let's say if you want to provide a, um, a nested vStack and that vStack has its own set of uh, modifiers to basically style the text, you can actually apply that. Now this is a bug in uh, Xcode where uh, preview sometimes does not show the nested value nor to like you know uh, see whether this is working or not we're gonna actually build and run on actual simulator and your output should not change okay now what is the benefit of nesting a container inside a container let's say for these digits you wanna set a different font and a different font color you can do all that with a single modifier um, so let's go ahead and set the foreground color first and we're gonna set that to teal and font as the subheading subheadline okay let's go ahead and build and run and uh, we are also going to try to resume this preview section right here so hopefully this will refresh but if not then we can basically see it here so yeah preview is refresh as well so you can see in both that we have like you know 1 to 12 now their font is basically a sub headline font and they also have a teal color okay so you can use nested uh, container views to basically further customize your views look and feel okay all right so let's go ahead and explore another aspect of the vstack which is spacing so spacing can be defined for vstack by specifying spacing parameter okay so we can specify spacing and let's say we want to add a spacing of 20 points for the views that are outside uh, the vstack so that are on the outer vStack. So the spacing between this vStack, these two text views, all the child elements is gonna be 20 points in between. And we can actually set the spacing for the nested vStack as 15 points. So all the subviews on the nested one should also see, but a different kind of spacing. All right, so that's how you can actually create a spacing between the child views and you can override these values by nesting them into another uh, container view. Okay, um, there's another parameter uh, that actually comes with vStack and uh, this one is called the alignment. And alignment property is basically an instance of horizontal alignment. Now, because our views are laid out in a vertical line, that means the horizontal that is, uh, sorry, the alignment that is uh, applied is the horizontal alignment. So whenever you're applying a um, alignment on B stack, it's going to be horizontal and H stack is another, uh, another container um, and in that container views are laid out in horizontal manner meaning the alignment when you're going to apply it, it's going to be in vertical direction so it switches basically the side so it's the opposite okay now there are like you know a few values that you can apply on the alignment side so leading trailing and center are applied on vstack list row separator leading and uh, separator leading and list row separator trailing these two are applied whenever you're using the vstack inside the inside a list okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the um, default values so first one um, uh, sorry uh, the values for the alignment first one is the center okay so center is the default one and uh, whenever a v stack is created and you don't define any alignment then um, then your alignment is by default set as center okay 
and uh, the priority basically the order should be alignment and then spacing that's what Xcode was complaining about okay but you can change the alignment and you can say I want everything aligned within this vstack as leading and notice that all of our views are now aligned in leading direction you can change that to trailing and uh, uh, take a look at uh, the view where all the um, all the elements are now moved on the trailing direction okay and you can override these this behavior by setting the alignment property for the sub um, for the nested um, container view okay so you can simply say alignment center for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, nested views now notice that see, even though you have actually applied the center alignment it's not taking effect the reason is that because vstack has a text view and text view only takes as much space as needed for its uh, content uh, all these text views are aligned within this small box that is their frame so basically the center alignment is being applied but it's, it's being applied at a, such a small level that is not visually um, like you know uh, apparent to the eyes and we can actually change that by adding an, a view that has more longer text so for example this view is longer okay and now you will notice that all these sub views they have basically the alignment or especially like you know the uh, 1 to 12 and the bigger the, the longer view they are aligned in a center alignment now you can change it to have them like you know line leading and it's going to only align leading up until this point right here because now this becomes the frame the total frame of the um, of the vstack now you can see how the frame actually looks like by adding a border and uh, let's go ahead and add an orange border around the nested vstack and what we should see a line that actually shows that frame uh, of the uh, vstack okay so now you understand basically why we could not move the um, uh, alignment property if i remove the longer text you're going to see that this is the total frame and now if i apply for example the uh, alignment you're going to see that fractional uh, shift on the views but it's like you know very small and it only happens for the digits that are single digit because two digits are the one that are defining the total width of the v stack all right hopefully that clears up everything that you need to know about v stack and this is it for this video thanks again for watching